A little bit different today, you guys. I am taking you with me shopping, but this time we are looking for Easter basket fillers. I gotta get the things for my kids for Easter. So I thought I'd take you with me to all the stores and show you what's available so that you can get an idea of what you might wanna get for your kids. Hang on to your hats, you guys, because I am taking you to eight stores in this video looking for all of the Easter things, specifically Easter themed sections in all the stores. You do have to bypass all of the other things before you get to the good stuff, but I may do and went to the Easter crafts. This make it and bake it little set. I used to do these when I was little. Did you guys do them? Where you put the little gems inside and you melt them in the oven and you have a sun catcher. I think these are super, super cool. And I like the designs that they had. Everything at Hobby Lobby is on sale. so make Make sure that if you see a price on something I'm showing you that you take that into account. Lots of sun catcher kits where it comes with the paint and the paintbrush and you can design. This one comes with two. They also had some crosses down here and some Easter bunnies. There were a lot of coloring craft kits where they would give you the markers and you can color something. These are kind of like a chipboard egg and they have different designs that you fill in. These over here are the wood chipboard so you have the markers that you can design on both sides. And then did you know that they have Easter gnomes? I didn't didn't know that either until now <laughs> they did have one of those they also have the great kits that come with several to a package so these are great for a classroom activity or if you do a preschool or a Sunday school so this way you can get a lot out of one package and multiple kids can do the craft Hobby Lobby also had a really good variety for different age children so I think that's really important especially if you have kids that are different ages too I really thought this Easter scene was really cute and they also had some fun kind of coloring placemats over here for the young ones one of the other great things about Hobby Lobby is that they have a lot of religious crafts and religious books that can go along with your Easter basket theme. So I think that's a really cool thing that you can find some of those selections here because they can be a little bit harder to find in other stores. And then they also have some really cool activity scenes. And one of those is with Jesus and the tomb. Bunny maskets, if you're going to do a photo booth or take pictures, we have some dough egg crafts, Easter tattoos, and a wind-up toy, which is great for some water play. And then these are really cool where they have the water paint on it and you take some water and you color in the pictures. And then stickers. They had so many Easter stickers ones that you could use just for decorating pictures or making cards. So if you need some stickers, definitely check out their selection. There's quite a few. I wanted to point out this really cool thing. It's glow sticks for the Easter eggs. You can do an Easter egg hunt at night. We tried it. It's a lot of fun. And then the sensory levers, check out these little gems to use for sensory bins. These are super cool. I really like the colors. I found the jackpot of Easter basket fillers, all those little trinkets and toys. A lot of these things you'd probably also see at the dollar store, but they have them here as well. Well, this little uh, slime egg was cute. And this little slime bunny was also cute. Big fan of these. They are eggs, but inside they have bricks. There was a couple different designs that you can make your vehicles. Really thought these were clever and I liked them a lot. They also have an egg with bubbles inside and the bubble blowers. We have some purses and lots of different accessories, socks, bracelets, hair accessories that you can wear for Easter. Bubbles galore in peeps and in carrot form, whichever you prefer. And then here's a little glance of the Easter books that they have. I was talking about more religious ones. They definitely have that here. They even have a Berenstein Bear book and then some board books too. These are all age specific and you'll find one for every age range. More of those standard Easter basket fillers with our roll crawlers, our flyers, our yo-yos, and also all little trinkets. I personally do like the stamps. That's one of my favorites. The Centos pens are a huge favorite in my house, and we always like these little interchangeable coloring crayons. Look at this little straw with the face on it when you drink. It's super cute. Don't forget to check out all of the summer things because those are out too, and these make great Easter basket fillers. I am not going to show them in this video because I'm trying to stay Easter specific, but they they do make great Easter basket fillers, especially some of these finds over here. Okay, so I did get a little bit distracted and had to take a peek, but there's some really good things in the summer and spring section. So don't forget to look there too. Next up is Target. Target's kind of a hit and miss for me. So I'm hoping we're gonna find some things. This is exactly why you have to go early, like now, to get anything Easter related or else you're just gonna be out of luck. 
Now I already did a shop with me at the Target dollar section, but I wanted to go back to see if there was anything new. Watch the other video for everything else I found, but the new things were these little soap on a rope. There was duck and a frog and even a rainbow. I thought these were really cute. They're a dollar each. They would make a perfect Easter basket stuffer item. They also had the bubble blowers. These are really, really popular and they really work. There was a flamingo, shark, dinosaur. Really do like those. All in all though, everything else is pretty much the same that I saw before so just go back and watch that video I'll put a link down below for you next I headed back to the corner of the store but before I did that I had to walk through the toys got distracted saw some crazy errands thinking putty would love that for Easter basket stuffer also the poppets make great Easter basket stuffers there's lots of clearance on the end caps so might want to take a peek there but I do need to go back to the Easter section because I need to stay focused so we got lots of Easter candy at Target a ton I feel like there's more candy than anything else. But I did find some Squishmallows. My kids love these, but we do have enough. They are really cute though. And I was on the hunt for other little non-candy Easter basket fillers. I didn't find too much, surprisingly. I'm wondering if my target is just not stocked. Found these little Kirby surprise eggs. I also found some Lip Smackers chapsticks and all kinds of different licensed characters and different flavors. Also some nail polishes over here. Some more surprise bags of characters that I'm not too familiar with, but maybe my kids are. And then this one looked pretty cool. It was one of those dinosaurs that's hidden inside. I think my daughters would actually like that one. Bath bombs are a huge hit. These are all the Easter themed bath bombs. We have a whole bunch of books and board books as well. All kinds of different varieties, but they're all Easter themed. So that's pretty good. Big fan of putting books in an Easter basket. I found this, it's called Easter Crackle Clay. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it does. I don't know if it's good, but I am very, very curious. This one, actually went home with me. I'm going to put this in our Easter baskets. Now I think I'm going to show you what I actually got in a live over on Instagram. So if you want to see what I actually bought and what I'm putting in our baskets, definitely make sure to follow me over there because I'll do a live and I'll show you everything and I'll build my Easter basket live with you guys. We have kinetic sand and this one is scented. That's always a hit. We have the squeeze ball poppers. Also can find these at the dollar store. And then we have some Nerf stuff over here on the end. More of the lip smackers kind of thing in different styles. These are actually in the plastic eggs, which is also a really fun thing for Easter baskets too. But you guys, it was pretty much, there wasn't much more and I was really disappointed pointed in the selection. I don't know if it was just my target or what, but at least they had really cute Easter baskets. Moving on to our next store, Michael's. I am looking for crafty things here and boy, did I find a lot. We have some little sewing kits here and that you can make your own keychains. There was two types of bunnies. It says you need the learn to sew tools. I don't know what those are, but they had two different styles. Also at Michael's, everything is also on sale. So if you see a price, know that it is actually cheaper. Really like this bead kit. It looks like a flower and they had tons of crafts for eggs. So once again, if you have a classroom, or if you have a preschool or a church group, these would be great for those. If you have a lot of kids, they would also be great. But they had a really good selection. So they had ones with bunnies, had ones with eggs. Some of them had jewels. Some of them had paint. Some of them you decoupaged. So they really did have a great selection to choose from. I really did like these headbands. I thought that was a fun thing that my girls would like to do to make their own headbands. And they also have this really cool string art wreath that I liked as well. This one also went home with us because my girls really do like to do crafts. Look how cute that little bunny is love that here are the bigger kits that they had and these are better for the older kids maybe i think it said six and up maybe some of them said seven or eight but they had quite a variety i like the reefs those are really easy to make and then they had a whole bunch of these like larger eight kits where you could put all the jewels on top of them they also had this little kit here where you can decorate eggs and they had quite a selection of just blank eggs in all kinds of different forms really do like these plush crafts we've done the larger ones and my kids loved them i have a couple of these coming in the mail to me and then they had these these little accessory craft kits where you can make your own hair accessories or your own jewelry kits and a ton of sun catchers as well so I really think Michael's hit the mark for those little kind of trinket things and those little kits I always think it's great when a kids can make things and actually spend time doing an activity versus just getting the item they really enjoy creating something and knowing that they did it themselves as I walked around I saw a whole bunch more of the craft kits I'm telling you guys they had quite the selection and they even had art sets that were like in 
and the shape of an egg. So that's always fun too, because you can always create with markers and colored pencils and that kind of thing. I really do like these kinds of easels because they come with the paint and the little paint palette and the paint brush. These are interesting. They're called paint pours and they had a couple designs in that, the Easter egg and the bunny, and it comes with everything you need to make that cool marbleized painting. Here are some egg painting kits. These are plaster and then they had some kind of cardboard ones too, so you can decorate your own egg however you want. And then this one is for eggs that you might already have at home. How cute would that be to make your own little bunny egg or your chick egg? More of those plush crafts. These are a little bit different than the other ones I showed you. Also a big fan of these. I think I have some of these coming in the mail to me too. And then we have some air dry clay kits. My kits have been really into the air dry clay. I'm not sure which one I liked more though. This was super cute. So you put this on your already made eggs, like Easter eggs that maybe you boil. But I really like this one here in the back. It's a space theme. How cute is this one? They also had some plaster kits. So these come with the paint and the paintbrush and the plaster item. So there's like a little bunny, a little happy Easter sign. So those are kind of fun. And they also had some diorama kits. So you would assemble all of these and it comes with all the pieces to make that 3D egg. Sensory items, anyone? They had a whole bunch of hopping chicks and little squeeze sensory toys. These actually have lights inside of them. So they light up. We have some bunny eared pencils, some more cardboard bunnies that you can decorate and then notebooks. These are really great for the older kids like you're over eight year olds because it's just a really fun, cute item that they can have and you can always use a pad of paper, right? I know we do in our house. These chicks are actually the same ones that are at Dollar Tree right now and at Dollar Tree you get much more, so buy them over there. They have a lot of stuffed animals and they have bunny ears as well. You can get your eggs here too, but they didn't have anything really fancy and their Easter basket selection was actually pretty decent. They had some really cute ones. If you need an Easter basket, you might wanna check there for that. A really unexpected visit. I stopped at Walgreens. I've never shopped there before. Just wanted to see what they had and if they had any Easter finds and I was surprised. They actually had some things. They too had some Squishmallows and those would be a huge hit in our house. They also had some really, really cute My First Easter items. I haven't seen any of my first Easter items anywhere so far. And then they had some really fun toys that they pulled forward, like the Melissa and Doug water wows. They have these really cool popping books. They have little poppers built in. Listen to this so cool so it's like a popper but in a book i thought that was extremely clever this came in two different styles and then they had these magnetic take along puzzles from melissa and duck i haven't seen these either those are pretty fabulous they come in two different styles as well where there's puzzle pieces inside but they stick to the book and then there's also like a seek and find in there they had some scratch art melissa and doug books which were really great and of course your traditional water wow which i'm a huge fan of and as I'm talking in this video, I'm starting to lose my voice. So I'll have to apologize, you guys. You'll have to make do with my raspy <laughs> talking voice as I'm getting this video done for you. At Walgreens, we also have some of the sidewalk chalk, which we've seen in pretty much most of the stores today. They also brought forward a lot of Little Tykes items, which are really small and a great size to put inside an Easter basket, especially for those toddlers and preschoolers. We like these cups. They're really cute, but I've also seen them in other stores that I'll get to in a little bit. We have some sun catchers and I haven't seen these before in any stores. There was a bunny rabbit with a carrot and then also a froggy. They have stuffed animals and Easter eggs. I think that's kind of cute, kind of a fun thing to open and see what's inside. And then they had some little squishy balls here. My girls love the squishy balls. It's just, I don't know what it is. They just love them. And they have some little card games. So I thought if Walgreens is good, wouldn't CVX be good? Maybe. Let's check it out. They had mostly candy. I was actually very, very disappointed, but they did have a couple of things, just not very much. We have some putty here that looked kind of old and like it was <laughs> not doing so well, so I don't know about that. We had some wood kits with the paint, which I was actually surprised to see, but it was $3 for this. Mm, I'm not too sure about that. Some hair accessories and the whatnot from Crayola, but once again, seemed a little pricey. We have some coloring books, but I was really, really a big fan of the bath crayons. I think this would make a great stocking stuffer. Stocking stuffer. What am I talking about? Easter basket stuffer. They also had a whole bunch of hair accessories and little necklaces and trinkets, but that was about it, you guys. Most of everything else that I saw was just some candy and even the candy selection wasn't good. Now this was a smaller CVS, so I'm thinking, well, maybe some of the bigger CVSs might have a bigger selection. You'll definitely have to let me know if you found more. I did find some books, which I think is also a 
great find too. So if you need some books, you might want to check there, see what they have. Easter eggs, but nothing too special, just your standard Easter eggs. They did have a great selection of outdoor items right now, like these little paddle boards. I think those are cool. And then a whole bunch of kind of pool things, outdoor toys, sand toys. So that they were really, really stocked up on. I'm guessing that maybe those just sell a little bit better than the Easter stuff. All in all, I wasn't too impressed. But then I went to Walmart and of course at Walmart, you cannot get distracted by anything else that you see. So I went straight to the Easter stuff and found quite a bit. Okay, I think we've hit the jackpot. There are so many things here. All right, I don't even know where to get started. There were so many things. Let's check out these magnetic tins. There are games inside. Love, 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 love these. They are great for travel, great for the restaurant, great to take with you in the car because they're magnetic. We have the Easter egg chalk, which we've been seeing everywhere. This one comes with eight pieces for three dollars we have some surprise eggs there's mystery eggs there's going to be a couple things in there it could be a backpack clip it could be a finger puppet it could be a back pack clip you don't know but you're gonna be surprised I really like these kits in fact two of them went home with me we have the shrink art keychains we also have the shrink art jewelry which I thought was adorable and then another shrink art keychain I just think that the dinosaurs are so cute stickers lots and lots of stickers and a very affordable price all under a dollar so lots of options there all Easter theme I think this is the best deal I've seen so far these are like little hockey pucks you put batteries in them and I I think they're supposed to light up and maybe hover. They come in two different styles. I took home the soccer one. They also have the wood kits like everybody else and they are just about the same price. They come with the paint too and the paintbrush couple different styles in those. Centos, my kids love these. I don't know what it is about them, but they just adore them. So you have the full pen set and they also had the marker set. Usually you can find these in sets of one or two at the dollar store. So it was kind of cool to see a whole package of them all together. Lots of different water bottle options as well. These make great Easter basket stuffers because you're gonna use them more than just once. I really think this is cute. It's like a make your own cup. So you design the paper and put it inside the cup and comes with the things to design it and there's two different colors the blue or the pink this one is like a sun catcher but you put it on top of the light i haven't seen anything like that before we have yo-yos of course what easter basket wouldn't be complete without a yo-yo and then here we have the activity books which of course are easter specific these come with little activities and are a really great travel size this bingo game was interesting i think it's like a dry erase on the go bingo game so i thought that was kind of cool and they had different cards inside and the markers here is the selection of books mostly board books although they look to be really cool like a touch and feel board book and then also like a pop-up book too they also had the canvases with the paint these are really cool but I only saw one of them we have some bouncing putty I don't know if it works and then check out these these are egg ring holders where you put your decorated eggs on them seemed like a good idea don't know if it's worth it but they'll sell you anything at Walmart right we have some coloring books that come with stickers which I think are a great value we have some stamp markers here and then we also have some fidgets although the fidgets seem to be sold out if you don't find the Easter themed ones definitely go back to the toy section if you're in the market for fidgets they had some ceramic painting items a unicorn in a rocket ship although I don't know if they originally had more we have the sidewalk chalk which is really really great for Easter baskets but this is the one that rolls out and then the no spill bubble blowers really love these when my kids were toddlers interesting little tube toys these are puzzle erasers it also came in those bouncy balls although I don't know these get stuck in hair so be leery some building bricks that were kind of generic Legos and then these little finger puppet guys they look like little monsters frisbee is another good one these are great for outdoor play and other activities I've done videos on these before and if you like fidgets check out these stretchy strings I love the colors they come in and for two dollars this is a really great deal for some reason my kids love them I thought this was really cute it looks like a carrot but it's like a little bat and a ball we have some sidewalk chalk that's single in different shapes which isn't the best value, but it's cool that's in different shapes. Bubble wands, but beware that it costs a little bit more to have the bunny on top. And we have some little pool floating toys, also great for water play, and they just kind of swim in the water. This one came in two different styles. These little flyers here are really affordable. They're less than a dollar. These came in two different styles, although I don't know if they work really well because I haven't tried these particular ones. We have paddle balls, which we seem to see every single Easter at every single store 
store. And then there's some jump ropes, which I actually think these are really cute. Look at the little handles. They have fun designs on them. Bubbles. We're going to see more bubbles throughout this whole video, but here's some more bubbles for you. We also have the peep surprise egg. I actually took some of these for our baskets because they could be any of these things inside. You don't know until you open it. How cute is that? They also come in different colored eggs too. So I picked out one for each of my girls. I really like these stamp sets. I think they're a lot of fun and a good value for what they come with. And I'm a big fan of stamps. I don't know why I just really like them, but they come with licensed characters. They had a bubble fan, but you know what? These kind of break really fast. So I'm not too sure about those. Here's a peek at all of their Easter baskets that they have right now. They have the biggest selection out of all the stores I went to. Some more licensed character sidewalk chalk and then some notebooks. I really do think the notebooks are really cute. I went home with the rainbow one there with the clouds and the rain. I just thought it was adorable. They also have notepads which is great for the older kids too. And like I said, more bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> peeps is also a popular thing. I saw so many different types of peeps items. We had mugs, we had hair accessories. They are like going crazy with peeps this year. Every store had a lot of things for peeps. These would be really fun for the toddlers or little spring stuffed animals. I thought they were adorable. And then look at this little bunny sock monkey. How cute is that? I know some people who collect these, so I definitely wanted to include that in this video. They did have a lot of hair accessories and whatnot too. So these were by the Easter section, but you can also probably find some of these by the girls section too, if you wanted to put some little accessories in your Easter basket. Tons of bunny ears and all kinds of different styles. And then more Easter baskets. I told you they were really well stocked on the Easter baskets. Real quick glance at all of the Easter eggs. I'm not going to go through the Easter eggs, but I want to let you know that they're there. Stuffed animals, of course, they had plenty of selection there. Every stuffed animal that you can think of. And of course, they have the summer section. So also, like I said at CVS, go ahead and check out what they have and you might find some really good things to put in the basket. Lots of outdoor activities, which is what I like. I'm definitely a big fan of some of these. They also have cheaper things like the chalk here. This big package is less than $2, where the other chalk was far more. Same thing with the bubble wands. If you get a bunny on them for some reason, they just cost a lot more. One of the sections to check out are the accessories because they're little wallets, little jewelry sets, just little trinkets that would work really well. So I had much success here and check out my stash of other things too, bathing suits and shoes. I'm going to try going to Party City. Party City was another unexpected store. I was just curious to see what they had and I don't normally shop here for Easter so I wanted to check it out. They did have a couple of things that I'm showing you but they just seemed really expensive for what they were. I did like this here, this little Easter egg activity that comes with the spoons and the fake eggs. They had bubble wands but three dollars I mean come on this is just a little too pricey they also had those peeps eggs that we saw at Walmart and the sidewalk chalk too just a little bit too much in my opinion love the peeps stuffed animals I wish I could have them all because they are just so darn cute but I did not get them I, I held strong I didn't buy any more stuffed animals they have huge containers of bubbles and sidewalk chalk but look at the difference in prices for the generic versus the Crayola it's just crazy they had the smaller peeps so this one one is about half the size of the other one. Almost got these, but didn't. They're so cute. Little trinkets here like this bunny shaped straw, bunny shaped pins. But once again, the prices just seem so much more than what the item was actually worth. Wasn't really impressed there. Although this giant hopping chick looked really cute. They had a lot of fun game things. So if you're having a party or an Easter egg hunt, it would probably be a good idea to check out what they have. I also saw this sign, which means more Easter is coming that we saw it around Halloween. This just means they're having some delays in shipping. So as I'm showing you all of these little kind of trinkets here, you can see all the empty spots. They just don't have the inventory right now. So I would say that this is probably a skip unless you needed those Easter decorations, but also maybe late finds because I have a feeling most things are going to be stocked kind of when it gets closer to Easter because they're having such big shipping delays. Here's just a little glimpse of some of the Easter eggs that they have. They also had some Easter baskets, but I was not impressed at all by the Easter basket selection. You're going to find much better ones at either Walmart or at Target. If you're also looking for Easter bunny costumes, 
Don't forget to check here because they got you for the adults and for the little babies. Look how cute that is. So Party City, it was kind of a miss, kind of a hit. They had some things they didn't. I don't know, your store might be a little bit different, but just be aware that their selections are a little bit slim right now. Next up, we're going to head over to Five Below, which is another store I wasn't expecting to go to, but I thought, you know what? Let's head over there and see what they have. And they did have some things. They, of course, had a lot of candy. They always have candy, so we had some chocolate bunnies, but they had a lot of sensory things. They kind of pulled together a table of all the kinds of sensory things that kids are really digging right now. These are filled with sand. They also had these sensory ball kits, which I think would be great for toddlers. We had some Easter cottages, which are like gingerbread houses. Really love this because it comes with the stuffed peep and the peeps. Um, this is really cool for five bucks. Almost bought that, but didn't. And they had edible Easter grass. What? Does that exist? Does that taste good? What does it do? Dissolve in your mouth? I am not sure. Someone tell me. We have some really cute buckets. These are only a dollar. How adorable would these be to take on a vacation where you can't take like all the things? They had more Peeps things and Peeps nails, Peeps, I don't know. Peeps has definitely come out with every single thing possible that could be a Peep, pretty much. I love this keychain. It's so cute. They too had some Easter baskets and their selection wasn't too bad, actually. I thought they had some pretty good things. They had some really snazzy Easter eggs. Love in the gold glitter on these and then they also had some really cool baskets that would actually make great decor like this one right here i really like this one i thought it was really well made and that one probably would last quite a bit squishmallows are all over the place at five below so if you want a squishmallow they do have a limit on them though i think it's like four per customer at least it was at my store because people are just snatching them up love these pastel bungee bands and these little sensory tubes they too all have all the bubble things but i think they're cheaper at walmart they did have a section where they pulled together some of the smaller toys that would fit in a basket although they weren't really directly like easter themed so they did pull some things to the front of the store to give you some ideas of some alternatives they also had those little egg lip balms that i showed you from target and then don't forget to check out their outdoor section because they have a ton of outdoor games and toys that i really think are valuable like parachutes and lawn games and that sort of thing so they definitely have great value on that and that might actually be worth a visit to your store. They had some sidewalk chalk sets, but I really liked this one. And then I also liked their bucket of sidewalk chalk that had different types in it. They also had some puff chalk paint and that went home with me. The one place that we haven't stopped is Dollar Tree, but I've already done a couple of shop with me. So I'm gonna put them up here on screen so you can go and check those out next. Lots of good finds there. You guys click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to share your love.